Good afternoon, everyone. My name is William Wang, a maintainer of Volcano Community. This is my partner today. Hong uh, Kai. My name is Hong Kai from Huawei. Today we will share of thinking about maxim maximizing GPU utilization over multi-cluster for cloud native AI. So, firstly, let's have a look at why GPU utilization is so important to us. Firstly, the high price of GPU leads to higher cost. And secondly, as AI model becomes larger and larger, the demands for GPU explode, and the GPU is in shortage from time to time. Thirdly, it takes a long time for us from making order to get GPU cluster ready for production, maybe several, several weeks or even more. There are, there are several cha challenges for improving the GPU resource utilization. The first challenge is, is that the GPU devices are scattered among local areas, the IDC and the cloud vendors. So it making it difficult to manage them uniformly. Secondly, when different teams share the GPU resources, so there are different uh, GPU, GPU generations, different versions, so it's hard to share them fully. Finally, the different GPU models and GPU versions make it difficult to unify. So how do we build a platform to consolidate these distributed GPU resources with different models, different versions to make full use of them. From, my, from our perspective, I think an ideal platform should have the following functions. First, the, plat the platform can uniform management manage the GPU resources. The resources are from the different IDCs, different regions, even from different cloud providers. At the same time, the platform can norm normalize the GPU power, computing power with different generations. Secondly, the ideal platform should have an intelligent scheduler that can schedule tasks to most, most matching the resources based on the glo global resource view. These scheduling strat strategies have, full, have a lot of policies, such as the minimum cost first, the, the highest performance first, something like that. So we propose to leverage the CNCF project, Commanda and Volcano, to provide a multi-cluster AI solution. The Commanda is uh, responsible for the multi-cluster access and, uh, and unify the resource management. As mentioned earlier, these resources is dis distributed in different regions. Also, the Kamana will cover the scenarios, scenarios like the high, availab high availability, fault, fault tolerance, and uh, job migration. So, Volcano, Volcano Global Component is responsible for the lifecycle management for the AI jobs, and also cover the scheduling. The global scheduler will co coordinate with the in-cluster scheduler. So there will be a set of scheduling st strategies to get better performance and the utilization. Uh, regarding the AI workloads, we think it's extremely important to have a job abstraction to support multiple kinds of training frameworks, uh, like Ray, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. So what are the what are the common, char common, common characteristics for, of AI jobs? First, there are pods with different roles in a job, such as the PS worker, PS pod, worker pod, evaluator pod inside a TensorFlow job, and a master pod and worker pod in an MPI job. Secondly, AI job resource allocation needs to support or or nothing Symmetrics, semantics. Again, there's communication between the posts inside a job. So there's also some topology in, in, inside of the job, such as the data parallel, 
data parallel, the tensor parallel, and pipeline, something like that. For example, so, so, so we think the currently the job, volcano job CRD have a good abstraction. So the next one is about the, the, the basic and a very important feature. Either in the in either in the single cluster or in the multi cluster, the gun scheduling. Assume uh, 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 we assume that a job has ten copies. First, we will calculate the maximum number of the of the re replicas that can be deployed in each cluster based on the available resources at the node. Then the scheduler will fi filter the cluster. The cluster with less than Available replicas will be filled out to achieve gun scheduling ability. So, in the single cluster, the gun scheduling is also needed because there is some risk condition between the global scheduling decision and the in cluster HPA. After solving the basic gun scheduling problems, Let's look at how to improve the GPU utilization at the multi-cluster level. So command build resource view of all single clusters, and then volcano scheduler can schedule the, the, the jobs based on the resource view and the user preferences. One of the most basic strategies to improve the utilization is being packing, where which scheduler schedules the pod to the cluster with the Higher, higher resource alloc alloc allocation, then the, the idle nodes can be scaled down and released. For the inference workload, we may don't need to the, 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 the beam pack. Maybe spread, spread policy is, more, is, is better. So to improve the GPU utilization, the sub-cluster, single-cluster strategy is important as well. We recommend that using the config the resource sharing policies according to their, their scenarios. We cannot support the queue for the resource sharing between the March tenant. There are two kinds of resource sharing mechanisms. The first one is the, is the proportion strategy. You, user need to configure the width of each queue. Then the scheduler will allocate the resources fairly based on the weight automatically. And the idle resources can be shared to the jobs in, in other queue. And also when there's some resource competition, the scheduler will reclaim resources by weight automatically. So even this, the cluster scale up and scale down, the scheduler always can keep the, keep the ratio between different, different users. So, this mechanism is quite flexible, and the user don't need to configure too much, too much things. The third, the, 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 the second, the, the second mechanism is 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 use the capacity scheduling, which allows user to configure their reserved resources, the maximum capacity and the and the capability. So, the deserved resources means that. But the amount of resources a queue can reclaim from other queue. So these two ways of resource sharing can have users to make full use of their GPU utilization, GPU resources inside a cluster. So another way to improve the utilization is deploy the multiple kind of workload inside one cluster, such as deploy the big data workload and microservices in, inside one cluster, or deploy the training workload and inference workload in, in one cluster. However, there are, there are pre, <coughs> prerequisites for in, ensuring the queues for high pri priority tasks, such as the online services, the are typically uh, advertisement workload and uh, recommendation or search business, which are greatly sensitive, uh, latency sensitive. So we need to guarantee their queues. 
So Volcano will add a new component, component uh, named the Volcano Agent. This component will work with the, 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 the analyzing open source, open source system to provide the kernel level isolation to ensure the, to ensure the queues for high priority tasks. At the same time, the component also, also do the oversubscription to increase the container density on the node. So for the next part, let, let, let Hong Cai to introduce more about how to use Commander to management the multi-cluster more efficiently. OK, thank you. Uh, we have a lot of uh, feedback that uh, people want to uh, build a, a unified infrastructure based on uh, multiple clusters. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, Kamada comes. So uh, Kamada is a, a Kubernetes management system that enables you to uh, run your applications uh, across multiple clusters, even in multi-cloud. So uh, if you are familiar with the Kubernetes, you will get, uh, you, you, it will be easy to get started as the compo component in Kamada is very, very similar to Kubernetes and the uh, Kamada control plane, uh, including Kamada API server and uh, a controller and a scheduler. And uh, um, Kamada, the way Kamada manager um, Memory cluster is a, uh, a cluster needs to register it to Kamada, and uh, uh, some clusters might have limited uh, network access. Uh, Kamada can support to uh, provide the push mode to let this uh, cluster register, and um, uh, a, com a component named Kamada agent can be used for that. Um, Kamada also uh, provides uh, uh, a lot of features, uh, such as a cross-cluster application fee over multi-cluster service discovery, and so on. Okay. Uh, before learning more about uh, Kamada, I, uh, let's first understand the, the core concepts of Kamada. The, the first thing you, uh, the, the first is the result template. Kamada takes the, uh, can take uh, Kubernetes native API, and uh, after the configure after the YAML created in Kamada API server, Kamada takes this configuration as a, a raw configuration. We are we call that as a result template, and with the it, with another propagand policy API, uh, you can describe how and uh, uh, when to distribute distribute your application to, to uh, multiple clusters. And uh, uh, the third API, the override policy, you can configure the different configuration for application running in different cluster, such as uh, application run in different, different cluster may need to uh, have different image registry, may need to configure different labels, annotations, and so on. So you can uh, you can do it by uh, config uh, or add policy, and uh, another two uh, API is the result binding and the work. Uh, that, that's the they are they are the internal API. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, a result template created in in Kamada API server it will be driven by uh, propagand policy, and uh, then. It will be uh, combined in the result binding and then distributed to different uh, execution space. After that, the uh, the manifest and the configuration will be uh, delivered to the target cluster. Okay. Uh, the picture on the left is uh, is uh, the normal way that people manage manage multiple cluster. Uh, the, admin, uh, the administrator might be uh, do a lot of uh, re, uh, repeat operations on these clusters. And uh, with Kamada, 
you can uh, you can let the Kamala manage this cluster, and all the operations can be done against the Kamala API server. Yeah, uh, over the over the past uh, uh, few years, I've I've talked with uh, many many uh, infrastructure administrators. I've noticed that the way they manage multiple clusters is quite primitive. They usually maintain a list of clusters and uh, along with the Kube config fares. And when they want to operate a separate cluster, they need to switch the Kube uh, uh, config again and again. So that is annoying. So, um, the way Kamala, uh, Kamala uh, distribute the your application among, among multi cluster is uh, uh, based on the programming policy. Uh, the scheduler will uh, select uh, target clusters based on the rules defined in the programming policy, and uh, uh, the resource manifest may uh, vary in different memory clusters. So uh, when before Kamala delivered the uh, uh, the configuration to target the cluster, it can override any fields in it. So uh, you can use a, a programming policy to replicate an uh, application to multiple clusters or just uh, split the applications to my, uh, multiple, multiple clusters. Oh, this is uh, another, another uh, advanced uh, feature that I, uh, we got a lot of feedback that they don't have enough uh, enough uh, resources in their data center, and so they want to uh, maybe they want to buy some uh, manager the cluster from the public cloud like the Google Cloud, AWS Cloud. So uh, with Kamala, uh, user can build a unified resource pool across multiple clouds. Uh, for, uh, for example, you have some cluster in your local data center, uh, data center and uh, considering the resource, it might be insufficient sometimes. You can, uh, you can scale your workload to public and um, but uh, uh, the, during the scale, uh, the, the local IDC resource always preferred that uh, can use, uh, th that will be useful to, for save, uh, cost of saving. Oh, I will give an example about uh, how to uh, define cluster group with the programming policy. Um, programming policy is the most important APIs in Kamada. Uh, from the uh, policy, you can see, you can, you can, uh, you can specify which resource, that, that, that means which application you want to propagate. And uh, oh, you also, uh, you can um, dis uh, declare where the application should be delivered to. Uh, in the placement, you can uh, you can declare a cluster affinities uh, with the mul multiple cluster affinities. You can de de uh, declare in uh, one same programming policy. Uh, the scheduler will first try first uh, uh, cluster groups. In this uh, sample, you can see the scheduler will try the first. Uh, it will try to find a cluster for your application in, in your data center. If uh, uh, there, are, there, are no, there is no sufficient resources, it, it will go to uh, the next group. Uh, you can, then probably it's a public cloud. So uh, an, an, another uh, feature is the uh, failover. Uh, Kamala can manage multiple mem memory clusters. Um, when a cluster goes down, Kamala can gracefully 
uh, migrate the application from the Ford cluster to another available cluster, uh, ensuring that the service uh, remains available and uh, uninterrupted. Uh, additionally, uh, once a cluster is identified as uh, available, the, it will be ask, uh, it will be isolated, and the sub subsequent jobs are not scheduled on that cluster by default until it is covered, recovered. And besides of a cluster failures, uh, an application can potentially fail. In, in such case, Kamada can auto automatically migrate the, the faulty application to another cluster. Uh, the more important is uh, the user can fully control the uh, migration process by uh, define when the commander should take actions. Uh, be, uh, be, uh, uh, when commander can take actions and uh, how the migration be, uh, behaviors. Uh, also, uh, commander also leaves the rooms for Kubernetes cluster to uh, retry the field job. Okay. Um, uh, in Kamada, there are two layers of uh, scheduling, and uh, uh, there is a balance in Kamada that we want to uh, uh, provide uh, accuracy scheduling in the first level and uh, uh, try to not use so much uh, so much resources. So um, when Kamada selects a cluster for your application, uh, Uh, Kamada provides three uh, three uh, ways to improve the uh, scheduling accuracy. And the first is the uh, Kamada scheduler will do the scheduling thing based uh, based on some, uh, summary results. And the uh, second is the uh, result model, which uh, uh, which can build a model for your cluster. Uh, and uh, uh, the third one is the most uh, accuracy, uh, most uh, accurate uh, uh, method that Kamada can do uh, uh, accurate scaling. Uh, sure, uh, the, 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 the accurate estimate will uh, consume uh, more resources. Okay, this is the result summary. Looks like uh, Kamala will count will count all the resources, all the uh, available resources based on uh, by uh, count the resources in the in the node node object, and uh, uh, scatter will see how many available resources on on the cluster. Uh, this is the resource model. Uh, for user, user can uh, declare uh, a resource model to Kamada and tell Kamada how to uh, build the model for the, for the cluster. Uh, there are there are different grid. You can you can d describe your cluster, and uh, the Kamada will analyze analyze your cluster uh, and build a resource model, and uh, the the scheduler will. Uh, use this model to uh, schedule uh, schedule your workload, and the next is the most accuracy uh, estimator in Kamada. And when the uh, when the Kamada scheduler uh, find uh, schedule schedule applications, it 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 want to try to find a cluster. And how do how do Kamada know the the exactly the results in there uh, that uh, Kamala can uh, call another component named the scheduler est estimator. The est scheduler estimator will hold all the necessary information, uh, some uh, like uh, the, the all the poles, all the nodes. So uh, the estimator can make uh, accuracy 
accurate uh, uh, estimate and uh, tells, tells the uh, result to Kamada Scalera. Okay, uh, what if the what if the first uh, first layer schedule not work, and uh, what if uh, an application has been failed and uh, um, disabled by uh, uh, disabled in in memory cluster? That that may be happening because some node might be uh, gone. So uh, in that case, Kamada also have a message that uh, it Kamada can detects how uh, de detects the uh, detect the applications and find out how many unscalable replicas a uh, uh, application has in the target scalable uh, cluster. Um, then it will evict them from this, uh, from uh, uh, from the cluster and and then Kamala scheduler will will uh, schedule the application again to uh, find another available cluster. So, uh, welcome to uh, talk with us about any questions, any features you want. Uh, so you can find us from the GitHub or the CNCF Slack. Okay, um, we have some some time left. So, if you want to ask any question, no questions. One, two, three. Okay, thank you.